If you're an apartment owner and you are unhappy with the performance of either the management company or the managing agent, and that's quite a common complaint that I come across. Apartment owners, apartment renters who are not happy with the services being carried out by the management company for the apartment property owners. And often what happens is the person who is dissatisfied, the apartment owner, will stop paying the management company fees and they will think that that's a good strategy to adopt and that will put manners on the management company and put manage manners on the managing agent. The difficulty with that though is that there's an element of shooting yourself in the foot because what can happen is if the management company don't have the money coming in they're unable to afford a good professional managing agent and they're unable to afford the necessary maintenance persons and various other trades that they might need to maintain the development in a good healthy professional state and that being the case then there's a downward spiral because what happens then is there's a sort of a ratchet effect other apartment owners will see that the work is not getting done services are not great grass is not being cut lifts are not being maintained, common areas are not being maintained, roofs are not being looked after, leaks and so on and so forth. There isn't regular maintenance, there isn't regular painting and it's a downward spiral. Other apartment owners will stop paying. There's less and less money for the management company, less and less money for the managing agent and very soon the whole thing could become quite shabby and quite ill-kempt or unkempt rather. So it's easy then, as I say, to down tools if you're the apartment owner and stop paying. And the difficulty then for the owner management company is that they must try to pursue you for the debt essentially. And it is a debt collection matter and you do owe the money because it's in your lease. But the difficulty is there's no money then for the management company to pursue you for the debts and the debts then are increasing and the place looks worse and worse. But where it can backfire on you and where there's an element of shooting yourself in the foot is when you go to sell the place, when you go to sell the property, A, you've got this massive outstanding debt to the managing com management company which will have to be discharged and will have to be discharged out of the sales proceeds. But B, the management company finances may be of such a state as a consequence of people not paying their way, that a potential purchaser of your apartment may, quite frankly, run for the hills, may say that place is badly run, there's no money, there's difficulties with the management company, there's difficulties with tenants not paying, there's no money to get a solicitor to do the debt collection thing, and the whole thing is a bit of a mess. And they may well just go somewhere else and buy an apartment in a development that's more well managed and the finances are in better order and there's a good sinking fund and reserve fund to carry out repairs, necessary repairs and so on. So be careful if you're a management or if an apartment owner rather or if you have perhaps a house, maybe a duplex, maybe some sort of a terrace house in a multi-unit development and you're supposed to pay the management company fees and you're not paying the management company fees and you think this is a good idea then think down the line think three years ahead think five years ahead and think about selling the property because when you go to sell it if the management company is on the its accounts is a hot mess then the value of your property is going to be diminished and that is something that obviously that you'll want to avoid but you can avoid it by paying your management company fees and agitating then or making representations at the annual uh, general meeting and so on to try to ensure that the thing is done properly that there's a good managing agent appointed and so on but it's a self-defeating exercise to just down tools stop paying the management company fees because that will actually make things worse and it will ensure that later on if you decide to sell your property you're going to be in great difficulty because you might have difficulty getting a buyer and if you do get a buyer he's one who may be looking at the management company and saying this is a potential nest of vipers I'm going to go somewhere else. 
hope you find the video useful if you do i would appreciate if you gave it the thumbs up down below thanks a lot